Yo, well, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great Friday and looking forward to the weekend. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the PS Plus March releases. I think we were waiting for these for a while now. Everyone was saying it was going to release on 24th, but Sony took their sweet time to let us know where the games for March that are upcoming. But yes, the month is looking good, guys. In this video, we're just going to do a little discussion. I play some of these games myself. What are my thoughts, the ones I recommend to you that you should download? So please, guys, keep watching to find out my picks for March's PS Plus games. And also, guys, if you haven't, please subscribe subscribe to the channel so I can keep you up to date in regards to the latest video game news, upcoming films, TV shows, anime, lifestyle hacks, and much, much more. So guys, let's start. The first game, first game we have on our hands for PS Plus for March. Not a massive surprise based on the state of play that happened last night. It made sense strategically for Sony to give this game away for free to build up hype. So the game I'm talking about is, of course, Final Fantasy VII. I personally played this game, this two-disc monster behemoth, as you can see, two-disc behemoth. I personally love this game, guys. If you were to ask for my opinion, on IGN, it's got a rating of 8 out of 10. I saw it deserved a bit higher. It depends if you like the Final Fantasy games or not, but this particular game, the story is great. I hadn't played this game in a long time. It released earlier as well and was an instant classic, and then they obviously remade it now for the current generation for people that haven't played it before. It's got a great story. You kind of get behind the cloud. You want to know why he's like he is. You also get along with all the various characters that you find out, you know, Barrett, all these weird characters that you encounter throughout the game and the combat guys the combat is amazing in this game particularly as you build up ap unleash these devastating attacks for each character each character has different attacks and then i personally like the fact that with bosses they have their own weaknesses each character has a move that they can use to exploit the boss's weaknesses you can stagger them if you hit them it's really cool it's like a turn it's turn based but it's very dynamic the combat in this particular game i personally love the combat in this game but guys my personal opinion do pick up this game if you can because on its own merit this game should command at least 15 pounds at the moment even or even more to be honest and you're getting it for free so if you haven't played it do pick up this game if you can on the ps plus for march the only thing to note guys is that the ps5 patch that's coming to final fantasy 7 will only be coming for the disc players so people that have the disc version like me that bought it the silver lining is that we get the ps5 patch for free what i've heard is that people that get the final fantasy 7 from ps plus won't get that ps5 patch but guys regardless the graphics with the patch without the patch are beautiful believe me trust me when you port this game over and you play it, you'll be quite surprised that these were the graphics for PS4, PS4 Pro. So guys, let's move on to the second game, the one I particularly like, which is Remnant from the Ashes. I was particularly looking out for a co-op game that I could play online. There's not been that many games so far. I mean, Destruction All-Stars released, but that, you get sick of that game after a while. This particular game, guys, people have said it is like Dark Souls, but a shooter game. As you can probably tell in the clips that I'm playing right now, it's very shooter-based gameplay into it. You have to defeat various monsters, you get dropped into levels, and the aim is to beat all these various monsters, go to the boss monster, defeat it, and then when you defeat the boss monster, you get loot, you get new powers. But the best part is that you can play this game with up to three players. And I personally am liking the fact that I can do this game, this sort of hack and slash, not hack and slash, actually shoot and slash, whatever you want to call it, with buddies of mine, and we can play together, hunt down some bosses, get some loot. And in terms of reviews, guys, it got 8 out of 10 from IGN, and it also release on the PC first and then it made its way over to PlayStation 4. Personally, I think you should download this game, especially if you like games like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, or if you're a fan of any dungeon crawlers or online co-op based games. This game could be a good value game this month for sure. Next up is a game, guys, that I'm personally not looking forward to as such. It's a PS5 release, so it makes it a bit disappointing for me. It's Maketi. It looks really interesting. I had to look at what it was. It's an FPV puzzle based, dynamic puzzle based game actually, in which you have varying levels of puzzles. And what happens is you have mini maps or mini stages. And if you make changes in the mini stage, then the changes affect the bigger stage as well. So as you can see on your screen, if there is a cube in the mini stage, if I drop that cube anywhere on the map, the cube will drop in the bigger stage as well. So you use a sort of dynamic gameplay to solve various puzzles, make your way through this game. It looks interesting. I mean, the graphics look interesting as well, but if you're a fan of puzzle-based game, guys, this might be the one for you this month. I personally don't like puzzle-based games like this that much. I don't enjoy them that much. So I'll be giving this one a miss, to be honest. Now, guys, the final game for today is Farpoint. I know some people that really recommended me this game, but sadly, 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 to play this game, you need PSVR headset. I don't have a PSVR headset, but if I have, 
had one, I would definitely download this game. As you can see on your screens right now, it looks amazing, especially the whole shooter based gameplay and you know, those enemies like the scorpion that just came up on your screen. It looks really interesting. If you have a PSVR headset, I'd say check out this game. In terms of reviews, Farpoint has 7.5 out of 10, which isn't too bad. And I think it warrants your attention, guys. But yeah, guys, overall, a great month. PS Plus has been doing great things, I think, since 2021. They've really stepped it up a notch. In terms of value, they're delivering really good titles. Even for April, we now know that the PS5 game is going to be Oddworld, the new game that's coming out. I don't know how I feel about that. I wasn't really looking forward to it. But if they're giving that for free, I might as well check it out next month as well in April. But overall, guys, if you don't have PS Plus, especially for people that recently bought their PS5s from game or, you know, all these various drops that happen in the UK, do get the 12 month PS Plus subscription. And as I mentioned to some of you guys, there's a game event that's happening at the moment with bonus points. If you get the 12 month subscription, you get five pounds back in credit. So utilize that, guys, if you haven't and get a little five pound in-game credit discount, whatever you want to call it and get your PS Plus. Because I think going forward, you need PS Plus and it gives you lots of value. So yeah, guys, lots of games to look out for. But overall, my best pick out of the bunch is definitely going to be Final Fantasy VII for you guys and Remnant from the Ashes. I'm going to check that one out too. And also, guys, in regards to the live stream, I'm not going to be doing the live stream tonight, the Last of Us live stream. I'll be doing that tomorrow, Saturday at 9.30 p.m. instead. So please come join me so we can finish that off and then start Last of Us 2 on the PS5, see what that's all about and continue our journey with Ellie. Obviously, all grown up and ready to kill loads of people. So <laughs> there you go. So guys, thank you so much for watching again. And as I always say, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys again in another video. Bye, guys.